All right, so you want to create an AI music video, but don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on premium tools. I totally get it. Most tutorials out there assume you have unlimited budgets. Well, for the last weeks, I've been experimenting with free tools and I found a way to actually create an AI music video while using completely free tools. Now, to be honest, is it going to look like a Hollywood production? No, but you can absolutely create something genuinely impressive that you'll actually want to share on social media without spending a single penny. So I'm going to show you the exact five-step system I use to create AI music videos for free. And this includes song generation, image generation, image to video generation, video lip syncing, and post-production. By the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to create your own professional looking music video that people will actually think you spend money on. Now, you may already have your own song if that is the case, then you can skip to the next step. Because for the people that don't have a song yet, I'm going to show you how to generate your own song with AI. And for this, I'm going into Suno AI. Their free plan gives you 50 credits daily, which translates to about downloading 10 songs per day. That's actually insane value when you think about it. So after you've created your account, you need to add in your prompt to generate a song that matches your vision. But this is where most people mess up. You can't just type in something generic like make me a pop song. No, you need to be specific. For example, the prompt that I use looks like this. Young woman singing about her life, dreams and love, soft rock, pop, ambient, soulful, chill synth. That specificity is going to give Suno AI way more guidance to work with. Now it's going to generate two versions for you and don't just pick the first one blindly, actually listen to both. I've had times where the second option was way better than the first and if I hadn't checked, I would have missed out on a much better foundation for my video. So I'm now going to generate my song and we can go to our next step. I'm going to generate my images that are going to be the foundation of how the video will look visually. Since after the image generation, I will use an image to video generator to turn the images alive. So so for creating the images, I'm moving to Design AI. And their free plan gives you 32 image generation credits daily that reset every 24 hours. That might sound like a lot, but those credits disappear faster than you think, so you need to be strategic. So the first thing we're doing is creating our main character portrait. This is crucial because consistency is everything in a music video. You can't have your singer looking completely different in every scene. That's just going to look amateur. So open Design AI and click Create a New Project. By the way, all the links of the tools I use are are in the description below if you want to follow the process with me. Now then go to the text to image tab and select the design realistic V3 model. I use the following prompt. A photorealistic portrait of a young American woman in her late 20s, pop soft rock singer from Wings of My Tomorrow, standing outdoors in natural daylight. She wears relaxed, stylish modern clothing, perhaps a denim jacket or a casual chic outfit. Expression is soft, reflective and hopeful with a light breeze moving her hair. Background is softly blurred greenery or urban backdrop with warm sunlight casting gentle highlights. 8K ultra realistic photography, cinematic soft lens, natural colors, dreamy glow. Before you click generate, make sure you set generation mode to HQ and then create the image. After that, I upscale it to four times to get the highest quality possible and then I download it. Now, yeah, it's going to use more credits when using the HQ mode and to upscale it, but this is your main character. So you want her to look good. Eventually Actually doing this will save you so much time and mental energy. Now take your song and upload it to ChatGPT or Grok and type analyze the song theme, lyrics and provide high quality prompts for generating multiple b-roll scenes later to be used in image to video generation for generating b-rolls for the music video. This will give you high quality prompts that you can use in the storyboard tab. I'm not even kidding, this completely changed my workflow because I can imagine when you look at how detailed my prompts are that it is quite overwhelming to figure this out yourself. So now that we have those, switch to the Instant Storyboard tab and set it to V1 mode. Then upload your character portrait and generate scenes with the specific B-roll prompts you just created. Here are my examples. For scene one, singer performing on stage under soft spotlights, modern pop inspired clothing, passionate expression, cinematic lighting. For scene two, woman walking alone on an empty road, open fields, warm sunlight, reflective mood. For scene three, floating feathers or dandelion seeds in golden light, dreamy macro shot, ethereal atmosphere. And here are the other five prompts that I generated on screen. Now for your opening scene, return to the text to image tab and generate your opening shot like this, for example, a cinematic sunrise over a calm city skyline, golden light breaking through soft clouds, dreamy tone, lens flare, 8K photography, shallow depth of field, emotional yet hopeful atmosphere. 
after doing that, download the result as a JPG. Make sure to always include your aspect ratio in the prompt itself. So add 16 by nine widescreen or whatever ratio you're using. It helps the AI understand exactly what format you want and prevents those weird square or portrait results that don't fit your video. So we got our images and it's now time to turn them into videos. So for that, I'm moving to Grok AI. Their Grok 3 free plan gives you 20 video generations every two hours. And the limit on the duration of video generation is six seconds fixed. Now, once logged in to Grok AI, open the Imagine tab and upload your selected images and set the video preset to normal. You can add custom action or motion prompts to create dynamic B-roll. Just as an example, when I uploaded scene 8, the ocean cliff scene, and used this prompt, I got an amazing result. Standing straight, looking at the ocean with arms wide open, camera angle zoom into the ocean, then this gives you a great result. But let me walk you through the exact process for a few more scenes so you can see how this works. For scene 1 with the stage performance, I upload that image and use a prompt like singer moves slightly while performing, soft spotlight creates gentle shadows, microphone stays in position. For scene three with the floating feathers, I might use feathers drift slowly upward in golden light, gentle breeze effect, dreamy floating motion. The key is being specific about the type of movement you want. If you just say, make it move, you're going to get random results that might not match your vision. But if you describe the exact motion such as camera slowly pushes in or hair moves gently in breeze, you'll get much more controlled and cinematic results. Simple movements work way better than complex ones. Don't try to make your character do a backflip or some crazy choreography. Think more about gentle hair movement, slow camera pushes, subtle gestures, maybe a slight turn of the head. The AI is good, but it's not magic. And when you ask for too much, you get weird morphing and glitches that'll ruin your shot. Another thing I learned is to always preview your uploaded image before generating. Sometimes the image gets cropped weird when you upload it. And if you don't catch that, your video generation is going to be based on a cropped version that doesn't look right. Just take two seconds to make sure the image looks correct in the preview window. Now to save you a lot of time, batch your video generations. Don't just make one video and wait two hours to make another one. Plan out all your shots, generate as many as you can in your first batch, then go do something else for two hours and come back for the rest. But we got our videos right now and it's now time to lip sync a couple of them to our song. So for this, we're using lip sync.video and when you sign up, you get 500 credits daily. It takes only nine credits to lip sync a video with voiceover with a total duration of five to eight seconds so you've got plenty to work with now sign into lip sync.video and open the lip sync tab upload video scenes with clear facial visibility to be lip synced like scene one scene three and scene five they can work great for this because only use video scenes where you can clearly see the character's face sounds obvious right but i wasted so many credits trying to lip sync profile shots or distance shots where the mouth wasn't clearly visible the tool needs a clear front facing view of the mouth to work good make sure your video file is in a supported format mp4 works best in my experience then below that you'll see another upload area for your audio file this is where you upload that trimmed section of your song the timing is crucial here your audio clip should match the length of your video clip as closely as possible if your video is six seconds long your audio should be about six seconds too don't upload a 30 second audio clip with a six second video the tool gets confused and the sync won't be accurate now upload a trim section of the music track that's containing clear lyrics then generate the lip synced clips and download them from the my collection tab this tool works best with short clips like 5 to 15 seconds max. Although it supports 10 minutes of lip sync duration, it's really optimized for shorter clips only. So you're not going to lip sync your entire song. Instead, pick the key moments. The processing usually takes a few minutes depending on the length of your clip. Once it's done, you can preview it right in the browser before downloading. Always preview it first. Sometimes the sync isn't perfect and you might want to try again with a slightly different audio timing or a clearer video shot. So I've now got my song, my B-roll videos and the lip synced videos. And it's now time to put them together. Together. I've done this in the video editor in Design AI, which keeps it easy to use a tool we already have, but you can use any free editor tool. I easily added everything after each other, and this became my final music video. i
Like I said before, it's not the greatest music video of all time, but for doing this for free in a couple hours compared to any real life or AI paid process, this is some great value to work with. The links to all these tools are in the description below. And if you do end up with some budget later and want to see what a paid tool can do, I've got a video about Design AI's full platform that'll blow your mind. The most important thing is to just start. Take these free tools, follow this system and make something nice. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.